Oh my god, I am so excited to be up here. Yeah. <laughs> so hi everyone, I am Grace. I am one of the co-founders at Andromeda and today I am going to show you how we are building a future where social humanoid robots are our trusted companions. Now I'm going to take a quick deep dive into a few of my childhood memories. So I'm going to show you a quick video, but I want you to take note of how these scenes and how these characters make you feel. What will it be, Master? <laughs> You're going to grant me any three wishes I want. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Okay, now you're probably thinking, what the hell do all these animated films have to do with robotics? Well, what Disney and Pixar animators have achieved over the last century is exactly what Andromeda is setting out to achieve through ro robots. Animators have this magical ability to make us connect with the characters on our screens. They're able to use their sketches to draw out this beautiful storyline with really vivid characters while convincing us that these characters are real and have feelings. This is exactly what we want to achieve through robots. We are building robots who have this perceived sense of cognition and emotional intelligence. So when you engage with them, even though you know they're simply this electromechanical system with some integrated AI, just like how you know animated characters are simple 2D or 3D rendered sketches, you leave your interactions with our robots feeling as though, in some limited sense, they have their own thoughts, their own feelings, their own plans, maybe even desires, and maybe even perceived sentience. This is a huge vision and it has been the dream of scientists, engineers and storytellers for so many years and today I'm going to show you how we are going to realise this vision. <laughs> now, most robots today don't look anything like people. They look more like this. So these are robots that are focused on very structured manipulation, so they move very repetitively with very, very high precision and they've absolutely revolutionised our manufacturing industries. However, we are now rapidly moving into a post-industrial age as a new generation of robotic technology is emerging known as social robots. So these are robots who have a perceived sense of emotional and moral intelligence and are designed to improve the lives of millions of people around the world. They're specifically designed to live among us in society and enrich our lives by allowing us to do the things that we would otherwise be limited in doing. So today, it was meant to be a reveal, but that's okay. <laughs> Today, I am going to introduce you guys to someone who is very special to me. Um, so this, this is Abby. Whoops, can we go back? A, oh, yeah. <laughs> so Abby is the first prototype of a fleet of humanoid robots that we intend on building. She's a cute, multi-talented humanoid robot specifically designed to provide social and mental support to the elderly and disability healthcare sector. She's way cooler than Elon's robot, in my own opinion. <laughs> <laughs> now, with our very first prototype, we have programmed a preliminary walking gate for bipedal locomotion. She's got an integrated AI generative chatbot that's built on a GPT-3 language framework. And she's got three cameras, two stereoscopic for depth sensing, one regular camera for facial recognition, object classification, and mapping her environment and localizing herself in that environment. We have been conducting pilot trials across various aged care facilities in Melbourne and are looking to expand to adjacent healthcare sectors. We have had a wildly successful start and have received signed LOIs from some of the largest entities in the organization with an accumulative worth of more than $10 million ARR. <laughs> Taz and I are the co-founders. We have had a lifelong passion for STEM and robotics. We were also the only Australian startup to be accepted into AWS's robotic Global Robotics Accelerator. <laughs> we are backed and supported by the best mentors and technologists in the world, including Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> we have received, the animator of Shrek to be specific, we have received this really incredible endorsement letter from the animator of Shrek who not only outlined his support for us as founders but his strong belief in the inevitable social robotics market and how humanoid robots are a natural extension from studio animated characters. And we'll also be moving to the US as we've been accepted into Mass Robotics which is the most prestigious robotics lab in, in the US. <laughs> Oh. 
a very supportive audience. Thank you. <laughs> um, but we believe that this is just the beginning and the best is yet to come. In just 10 years' time, we will see humanoid robots as often as we see dogs. The social robotics evolution is an inevitable industry, and one company is going to dominate this market, and that company will be us. Thank you. Yeah.